Hey, fellow agents, this is Agent Smith, and we are under warning as this place is about to be destroyed from water and everything else. But it looks like Harold here is trying to do something that might help us. So, let's go ahead and give him a lift. I think I could lift him through that window, but it's still blocked. Oh, okay. Aha! There we go. Okay, now let me help you through this window, Harold. Warning. There you go. Harold, where are you going? The jet! I said the jet! Crap. Warning. Well, what does he see? I see the jet. Warning. There uh -huh. is, take it out of here. Yes, but well, we gotta figure out how to stop all that over there. Warning. I'm in. Time to take off and leave everyone else behind. Warning. Jeez, take a joke, Harold. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. Warning. Okay, one of these must start the thing. Warning. Everybody come out to the jet. I don't want to let go of this water, darling, until you get that jet started Warning. up. Understood. I'll get this bird ready to fly. Warning. Oh my goodness. There it is. Works. Warning. Powered on. External Psylock activated. Do not attempt takeoff. What? External Psylock. Warning. I'm not trying to take off yet, though. Warning. Aha! Uh -huh. I Warning. see the Psylocke now. Yeah, okay. Warning. Psylocke deactivated. Yeah. Take off. Come on, guys. Great work, darling. Self-destruct sequence complete. In T minus ten. Come on, Truman. Nine. They're not gonna show anything. They're just gonna they're just gonna take care of it. We did it. Five. Four. Hey, hey guys. Three. Ah, uh, can I me? can I come out of my mind? Don't just leave me here. Two. Guys. Uh, one. Detonation. Don't leave. Oh, hey. <sighs> Relax, darling. We carry your body on board along with Truman. Come on! Think we'd leave a man behind? I don't know about you. Sorry, I've been out of my body for a while. Of course, darling, and you were amazing. Now I'm glad you enjoyed my work. And your head. <gasps> we're clear of the rhombus, setting a course for Psychonauts headquarters. Dad, please wait the doctor's go. The so doctor's here, y'all. Oh. <laughs> Boyfriend. Oh, hey, what's up? Was that it? Oh, I made another episode after all. <laughs> well, there you go. That was everything right there. I hope that you guys have been enjoying this. And if you have, well, it's time that you face we'll let this song go through again. I just loved no this. Thank you, Tim Schafer, for your awesomeness. So it's a short little experience, but I give you a 1.5, essentially, as I say. That's going to connect the events of this game over to the second one when it finally releases, because Tim Schafer's in the process of building a new one. Um, Psychonauts has been one of its most underground yet biggest of games, in my opinion. One of the most popular, or at least my favorite, anyway. But, you see where I'm looking. I am looking at you, perfect. <laughs> so anyway. We'll see if there's any other things to it, but I love that. And the villain is still going to be the villain, because he was in our, uh, he was in the hold. I saw his little luggage carrier. In the rhombus of ruin. <laughs> and you stick like glue in the rhombus of ruin. I could just. I love being in VR, I have to tell you. It's the most entertaining thing to me. Some of the stuff that you can do.
Yeah, so as I've said in the previous one, that looks like it's in 3D. No, it's not, is it? That object over there. I guess so not. Don't put your shoe in. Two player productions are coming. Anyhow, the sequel to this should be coming out at some point or another. And um, when it does, I plan to do that now. I'm attempting to get my stuff together to get PlayStation stuff kind of working, but I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to. Richard Horvitz, again, by the way, I always forget to mention in the beginning that Rasputin is also a Vader Sim. They got the entire cast, actually, from the previous one to come back and do this game again, which is pretty cool. But anyhow, um, but yeah, so, um, if for some reason I can't get the PlayStation stuff in time, then there'll be in a few months of, uh, and if I, if I can, what I plan to do is Jack and Daxter, and if for some reason that doesn't work, then I'm going to be able to, uh, I like that, all Paul, because he wrote and composed it, then I will be doing more Tim Schafer stuff. I have a a collection I picked up this holiday season to include this that I'm playing. Uh, Psychonauts I've always had. Um, and um, it should allow me to do Grim Fandango remastered version of, or finish, because I think I started and never finished the remaster of uh, Day of the Tentacle uh, and possibly or definitely going to try to do Full Throttle. All remastered versions of those. He also has a couple other ones. There's one I cannot think of the name, and I always forget to look, that had Jack Black as the main character for it. I'd love to do that one, but I have a feeling the copyrights for that are going to be insane. Because it is a heavy metal, like, action RTS, I guess, would be a description for it. But either way, it'll be fun. Hopefully I can do that. I'd really like to do that one. Honestly, I think for the Jake Blinsky Games channel, I tell you, if he is not going to do it, he's he's got to have enough sense to do so. Jake Blinsky's up there literally in one week with millions of subscribers, and the one thing he knows he needs to do, I think, anyway, he should know to do, is to play that game. I just can't think of the name of right now. But he did do a Tim Schafer game. He was featured as the main character, voice, you know, actually live-action footage of him. And uh, if you can think of the name, please give it to me in the description. <laughs> I have it, but I mean, I would like to know how many people out there are recognizing what I'm trying to talk about. So, but I'd like to do that. And if I don't do that, I really hope that he does that because it's his game. It'd be so awesome to see him do a playthrough of something that he was involved in and uh, so heavily in, in his opinion. Just to, it'd almost be like a behind the scenes or like a commentary track on a DVD being played while a game of a game, which is actually done on the collector's editions, uh, or these uh, remasters, should I say, of the different Tim Schafer games. Either way, hopefully all this sounded good and looked good. Never done VR before, um, outside of some minor live streaming, but I've never actually tried to put together and edit episodes before for you guys. If this works, I might be doing a bunch more of these. I enjoy it. I gotta get a bigger green screen so this is easier to deal with and backlighting in here, but if people would check my Patreon, I might be able to afford it once they do all that kind of stuff, so this works for now. It tightens my space, but what I really need to do, I gotta say, actually, is get myself. As will return Psychonauts 2. That was the biggest point of this VR was the announcement for that. But um I need to get, what I need to do is the next place I live is paint my entire wall of my room or two to be green or blue so I can actually uh, have a larger space to work within. But, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. That was the Rhombus of Ruin. What's going on? Flash, flash, flash. There you go. So that was the Rhombus of Ruin. You guys have a great day. Hey fellow Asians, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left, and you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.